Chance. Chancellor, Principal, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen and fellow graduates, it is a true honour and privilege to share this day with you and to be presented with this fantastic award. I would like to thank Innes for those very kind words. So it's Friday the 13th. Unlucky for some, but I would suggest not for us. On the 14th of July, 25 years ago, I received my degree in computing science, which I thought was a great achievement considering that my high school didn't have any computers. And my graduation gift was an old-fashioned black rectangular briefcase, the ones with the little combination locks at the catches. And I set that combination to 147. 14th of July, the day I graduated. And indeed, it's still set 147. This is a really important day. And it was a proud day for me back then, for my mum and dad, and for my whole family, as it is today for you and all of your families. And through the smiles that day, and maybe slightly gritted teeth, I said to my mum, you were right. Because when I was 15, the night before my maths O level, my mum and I had a humongous row. I'm talking tears and tantrums, and that was just my mum. <laughs> and I was determined to leave school to become a ski instructor in the winter and a kayak instructor in the summer. And my mum said, over her dead body, was I going to do that? And she said, no, Gillian, you're going to go to university You'll be the first in our family and our extended family to go to university. And that's what you're going to do. Not the best preparation the night before your maths O level, let me tell you. And anyway, she was right, as mums often are. And I went and I graduated, very proud day. And later that summer, I packed my rucksack and a small briefcase and my new black shiny briefcase and off I headed to Portsmouth to join IBM where I had a fantastic career over 22 years, working in some of the most amazing teams, learning from some of the most wonderful leaders and working with IBM clients across the world. And I changed roles many times across that 22 years. When I first started, I was using a green screen. Yes, there was only one color on that screen, people. I lived through the modem dial-up era which screeched and hollered as it connected to the internet. Through the brick mobile phone, that whose battery lasted about five seconds. Through a laptop that you could actually physically transport and carry without having to weight lift. And right through to IBM's Watson's artificial intelligence engine, which won the Jeopardy game show and is now helping oncologists around the world diagnose and treat cancer. And then I had the fantastic challenge of joining the Data Lab. And through that time, I've lived through new language and lexicon. Hashtag. Google it. Prime next day delivery. Language we all take for granted now. And it's great to get a chance with my colleagues at the Data Lab to innovate through the use of data science. To work with some fantastic academics, many of them from Robert Gordon University. And over that long 25 year career, and I feel like I'm only about halfway through, I've learned some things that I'd like to share. Creativity and curiosity. Don't ever lose it. Be the four year old you. Ask why, 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 why. 
solve problems that matter to you, to the organisation you work in or you run, to the country you live in or indeed the world. Solve problems that matter. Adaptability. Be comfortable with change. The pace of change in technology and innovation will never be this slow again. Today is the slowest day there will ever be again. So be comfortable with change. Teamwork. Life is not a solo sport. Work is definitely not a solo sport. And it's diverse, curious, creative, and brave teams around the world that are innovating and inventing right now. So embrace that opportunity to work in those diverse teams. Resilience. Pick yourself up. At some point, something's not going to go quite the way you had hoped or dreamed. Get up again and again and again. Ignore the naysayers, the people that tell you you can't. That's not for you. Be ambitious, but work hard. The world out there is just waiting for you to come and change it. So be bold, be brave, be bonkers. Yeah, bonkers. Steve Jobs once said, it's the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world who actually do. So yes, be bonkers and be courageous. If someone offers you an opportunity that you're not sure you can do, say yes and learn how to do it later. Congratulations on all your hard work. Congratulations on your graduation day. And combining the motto from the university with its hashtag, now, by all your mastered arts, go and change our tomorrows. Thank you.